this is the road north in the nether goes to our ice spikes biome mesa biome skeleton spawner that's broken and what else does it go to giant taiga biome and it is a long run we were going to build the gold farm out this way but ultimately we decided on the other direction it's all paved so it's never going to get blown up by ghasts but as you can see by all the fire they they still shoot at you if you happen to run into one out here Yeah, Matt Cast did a wicked job, uh, underscore funk, on the uh, the potion brewer. It's awesome stuff. Pretty sure it's a Tango Tech design. And this is stuff that I did long before I did much streaming. I was just I needed I had a bunch of cobble and I wanted to get all the way out to the to the proper uh, mesa. So ice spikes is that way for anybody that wants to know, and then mesa is up this way. We've got some ice tunnels that make things a little bit faster, but it's still just a manual, manual run. And nothing fancy. It's just kind of like a, hey, here's a Mesa box. We do have a gold farm on the server. Um, Jared, I can show you because we're going to have to go back through the nether. Uh, I'm going to sleep. Hope that's okay with Alistair. Uh, the gold farm is in the nether. It's normally the kind of gold farm that you see built above the nether, but I don't like the whole above the nether thing. I find it kind of cheaty. So uh, we are currently at minus 3,600. Okay, so we're past it. So he wants to build it out this way. So let's grab our rockets. So this is the bone farm. We've got two. I've got one. I've got. I've got one personally in the swamp. This is the one that I built for the community, but it's a little far away. Uh, so thirty-two hundred is down this way. Oh, the mesa goes farther south than I thought. Cool. So around thirty-two hundred, he says. So let me know. Matcast, if this is about where you want it. I mean, it looks good to me. There's nothing out here. Really flat. Make it easy to make a little town. Try to get a little bit higher here. So where's the... I'm trying to figure out where the bone farm is. There's the bone farm. So he's thinking... I think Matcast is thinking that the town could be over here. On this mesa. Cool. Hey, Cargo. How's it going? We're scoping out a Mesa. One of my server mates, Matcast, he's in the chat. He wants to do a, a Western town out here. I think this would be perfect. Thanks for the follow, Cargo. Appreciate it. Closer to the desert biome, he says. Okay, so let's go 32... Two. Okay. So maybe you mean like around here? Server just decided that I should stop flying. Wow. Some lag. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies. So this is the edge of the Mesa. Looks like. 32. Maybe you were thinking positive 300, MacCast, and then negative 32. Because this, we're at 240 now. So I'm thinking you might have meant 300, like positive 300. I can't scroll up in the chat, but I think you might have meant positive 300. So this, maybe this is where you meant. But anyway, anywhere out here would be cool, Matt Like it's, if you want to do a Western build, I'm all for it. I'll give you a hand. Sounds like a fun job. Um, this could be a cool, cool spot. I think this is what you meant. 
But yeah, well, while we're out here, maybe we can take a minute and see if we can't fix the skeleton spawner. Although, it might be tricky because I don't know if I I don't know if I have this skeleton spawner hooked up to be able to be turned off or not. Let's take a look. So this is currently not working. Uh, because it's an old school uh, 1.12 uh, elevator, so the skeletons won't they won't swim up this anymore because they sink. So we have to turn that into like a jet stream uh, elevator. But it's all automatic. You can either kill them or have them be um, XP farmed. And then down here we should have all the drops. And there's probably still a lot. Bones. Not as many bones. Lots of arrows. Leather and stuff. These are... They were all filled with bows. Maybe everything's been... Been used. I thought these were full of bows, but... I could be wrong. Um, anyways, the, the spawner is underneath. And I know how to fix the water stream. But I don't know how to fix is if the spawner um if the spawner doesn't have an on off we might have to install that and i don't think i have time to do that today a villager at your coordinates okay i'll take another fly around Maccas, before i head back this is just complete mayhem in here it's all been mined out and it's all, it was all terracotta and stuff. I've been using it as a mine. Uh, somewheres we can get up there is the stairs. I have not been up here in a long time. Uh, so this is the spawner inside all of this. You can hear them clanking around in there and it does not look like it is set up properly to be turned off and that sucks. Um, so here's the water stream where they're supposed to go up and they're all just hanging out right there and that is just like instant death. <laughs> I do not want to go down there. Uh, I know how to fix it, but the first thing I'm going to have to do is going to be to light up the spawner inside. Because uh, I think, I can't remember exactly where the water level is. But yeah, so there's the spawner there. So we'd have to put redstone lamps in the walls. I'd have to even double check to figure out where um, the spawner room might be a little bit too big. I might have to push the walls in by one in order for that to work. I had to do that with the spider spawner. So that might be a, a thing to put on the to-do list for streaming. Um, but let's go back out and see if we can find um, Matcast Villager because he said that he had a mending villager. Uh, where do I go? This way? Yes. Keep the torch on the left. An, un an uncovered spider spawner uh, here in inside this cave or near your near your uh, your mesa build that you want to do all right so Matt Cassin said it was negative 3200 so let's just find negative 3200 and then negative 300 so maybe he was over this way this looks like it's all desert though there's a village so there's a village at those coordinates but it's a desert biome So negative 320 something and then negative 3,295. So there's a village here. That's cool. But then you wanted to put like the Mesa town over there. Okay, cool. Whatever you want. You're, you were thinking that you wanted to use the villagers in the town. I mean, all of this is fair game, man. It's, it's, this is all, it's a awesome community server. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's cool. You'd definitely be far enough away that you wouldn't be interfering with anybody, because I mean the mesa is just so far. It's the only thing that sucks about about the server is that the mesa and the ice spikes are pretty far, as far as Minecraft is concerned. But yeah, I think you're not terribly far from the portal either. Like you're really only a couple hundred blocks from from the existing portal, and, and you're far enough away that we could put a new portal over there. We might have to come up with like a an ice boat road or something so that you can get back and forth really easy. Use the Mesa as a backdrop. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, man. Do it up. I know that people have been looking for stuff to um to help out with. So having community builds and, and, and larger things, I think, larger projects on the server would be would be a good idea. Ah, uh, what do I do I need to bring anything back? I don't think I need to bring anything back. I think my terracotta things are mostly filled up. Don't have to worry about the stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's a good spot for a town too, Jared. Uh, let's drink our speed potion. So I was thinking that the other thing that we could do is that is that Christmas town, but there's got to be some winter biomes closer to the to the actual uh, to the meadows, I think. And Jared, I think you wanted to see the gold farm before I go back, right? Cool. Thanks for the Mac for the reminder, Maccast. Let's go down here. The gold farm is actually pretty good. The for being inside, uh, inside the Nether, it's still pretty decent rates. Oh, I hear gassed. No, I don't mind at all. Especially not with a speed potion; it makes things a lot easier. Uh, I guess I will go back up through the hub. It's probably the best course of action. There's not as much sign uh, posts and marks coming back. Uh, so it's a little bit tricky sometimes to get back to the hub. Oh, I got the reference. <laughs> like, I would love to build the unfinished bridge over the Clayton Ravine. Where's the Clayton Ravine? I mean, I know what you're referencing, but it, what's on the server that you, that there's an unfinished bridge? Uh, so the gold farm is south. So once we get back into the hub, then uh, desert stuff is always west. And then this is the portal south. So there's the inn on the bridge. This is the birch and mushroom forest. And the gold farm is, uh, we almost, uh, we went this way uh, two weeks ago or a week ago. When we went to the end, uh, you have to go by the end portal. Need to eat. So this is the same way that we took to go to the end last week or the week before. Uh, and then once you go past it, then you head on to the gold farm, which is a fantastic XP farm as well. So it's a great place to repair a bunch of stuff. Oh, you wanted to build it because it's a Western town. Oh, very cool. Maybe you and Matcast should find a location in the Mesa that allows you to build the unfinished bridge. That would be really cool. Like build the Mesa on a, in a place where it kind of goes off, uh, off a cliff. That'd be kind of cool. So there's the gold farm here on, on my right. So it's the big donut farm that, that uses, uh, the uh, zombie pigment alarm system, I guess their, their alarm system where they tell other zombie pigmen to go murder you. Um, this is, I had some trouble with the lava, but, uh, the path to it goes underneath the lava. So you have to go down, down here. 
And you get all these cool drips on the ceiling, which I kind of like. So this is the storage system underneath it all. Uh, see if I can remember how this works. This is the manual input. This is for fuel. Uh, don't remember what... This uh, is the input for uh, drops that come in from the zombie pigment farm. So like swords and things. And they'll get smelted. And then they get sucked out and put into the storage system. So the storage system has uh, bars and nuggets and then a whole lot of rotten fr flesh or room for, for rotten flesh. Jay King, thank you for the follow. Uh, and then everything back here. I'm, I'm actually really proud about this system. Uh, it took a long time to design. We're going to get up here and take a look. So it's a lot of basic filters, but there is... This is a unstackable item filter. So if anything comes through here that's unstackable, which is essentially a sword from a zombie pigment, then it gets pulled out and smelted. And then these are just straight up item filters for uh, the various various items. And then anything else, I think this is just overflow. I can't remember what this does. This is for a bunch of stuff that just gets despawned. I can't remember what else the zombie pigmen drop, but this dropper just kind of shoots things down into an empty one by one and the, the item eventually despawns. Um, but it was so close to the bottom of, of the bedrock of the nether and I wanted to create this kind of illusion of being completely under lava. Uh, it looks really cool with shaders. I might try to turn those on before we leave because it just the whole thing just glows like kind of orange and pink. But if you come up here, then uh, I actually have an item to repair. My pickaxe is kind of low, so we can actually do this. Grab a few snowballs and take off some armor. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work with somebody else on the server. Put this in my offhand. And then all we need to do is hit one pigman. And there's usually one pigman right here with a snowball above his head. And he's the guy that you're supposed to get get angry. You do not want to fall on the other side of this. There we go. So now they're all really mad. And if I go stand down here, they're all going to go into the traps. And I should start to get some XP. So you can actually stand here and just AFK. You're perfectly safe. Everything is com completely closed in by glass. Ooh. What's going on there? Oh, the trap door shut. There we go. So you don't get as many spawns as you do when you're above the nether. Uh, but it's good enough. It certainly does does the few people that we have on the server. Uh, and I, I have more gold than I know what to do with now. Uh, I remember when Shannon had her birthday, I gave her like a a nine by or a three by three cube of gold blocks because I had I had everything I needed, you know. Um, so sometimes the problem with 1.13 is that these little guys don't die; they don't path the same anymore. So you you have to kind of end them yourself, and you lose that drop, and that XP never gets to you. Uh, and then sometimes they don't get angry. Uh, it takes a while sometimes for the the stuff to regenerate, but you can always just sit here with your bow and arrow and shoot one guy, get them all angry again, and then just kind of hang out here and wait. Yeah, it's easy XP, and and you absolutely uh, get quite a bit of gold from it. Because uh, when it was working before 1.13 updated, you could absolutely just AFK here for an hour and a half, two hours, go do something else, you know, leave it running on another computer. And you would just gather XP and gather uh, gold, which was fantastic. Uh, it all depends on whether or not these guys anger another pigman before they all despawn. So one of the ways that you can increase the efficiency of the farm is to decrease the spawning spaces uh, outside of the farm. And so uh, if I go down here, I'll put the snowballs back. Where's the chest? It's over here, I think. So I'll put all this stuff back on. So like I've been here for a couple minutes and this pack pickaxe is almost all completely um, redone or repaired. Uh, so we're down here and then we should see 
yeah, so this is smelting. So it had smelted probably a couple of, of swords that were in there. This was at 25, I think, before. This was at one, so there's another gold gold thing there. And then obviously there would have been like a ton of, of zombie flesh that came through. Uh, I just, I don't know. We've got coal. So we've obviously got some some fuel in the back, which I think is at that that chest. Uh, when I built this, you couldn't click through hoppers because of 1.12, the hitbox is still a full box. So that's why you have to put the fuel in here uh, because you couldn't access that chest, but you can now, which is fantastic. Yeah, general XP, it's great too. Uh, Pigment give, give fantastic XP. But let's, I want to try something here. I have no idea what this is going to do to my frame rate on stream. But let's take a look at enhanced default. I don't think this does anything too crazy in the nether, but I'm curious. Hopefully my computer does not blow up. Oh yeah, definitely different, right? Let's try the extreme one. I feel like that's the better for the nether medium. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> now we're now we're cooking with gas. Uh, so the frame rate is going to suck. I apologize, but I just think that this looks really cool when you got shaders on. <laughs> it burns us precious. Nice magpie. <laughs> well played. Well played. Uh, so yeah, this, this comes out here. Wow. This looks really cool. Uh, so there's the donut and the whole thing is completely encased in glass. So it's gas proof. Uh, there's no way in or out with the exception of this staircase. Uh, so you can absolutely AFK in there. Uh, totally safe. Uh, and, uh, it's a great little farm, but one of the reasons why it works so well is because it's in the middle of this lava lake. So this is, I want to say the lava lake is 150 blocks wide. So when you're standing in the middle, you've got 70 or so blocks that nothing can spawn on really all around here. Uh, if you really wanted to be super efficient, you'd have to block all the spawning spaces in the nether up to this, this edge ring here. So I started mapping it out and I don't really, I don't think I see myself finishing this, but this is the 128 block from the AFK center of the gold farm. And you can see that this, this circle, this is the perimeter of all the spawning spaces that we'd have to block in order to, in order to get super high rates in there. And that's why people build them above the nether is because it just, it's the only place for miles that things can spawn. But this looks, it looks really cool. I think it looks cooler and adds to the server without having to go up above the nether to get to this thing. So I think it's really neat. Uh, I do want to try to get out of here though, uh, because there's a gas. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to escape with my frame rate. <laughs> things are a little bit choppy right now. Hopefully things are not too bad on the stream. <laughs> Jurassic Park was totally safe too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, Matcast, I agree. Thanks. It was an epic build. I, I'm happy we did it. And thanks for all the help. There, I, We had a lot of help putting that together. It's nice to have all the gold for powered rails, and it just means that we can do all the kind of stuff that we want. I'd like to do more with this, this staircase, too. Alistair was nice enough to build this bridge of certain death. I'm not sure how many times he died building it, but it'd be cool if we could turn it into something, something nice to walk across. Now that we've got the foundation, I think it could be kind of cool. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Here's Alistair right there. Uh, I'm just going to duck in here and turn the shaders off. Um, I might actually just drop down to the the other shaders. I don't know what this is going to look like if we go outside. But Sildur's Enhanced Default is probably my favorite shader pack. Cool. Yeah, updating the bridge would be kind of fun. It makes the nether look kind of nice. Like there's not a whole lot going on but if we go through here i wonder what the meadows is going to look like on stream i 
a railway from the Mesa portal to a train station to the Western town. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be awesome. So this is why I like Sildur's Enhanced Default. It's real subtle. It um, My frame rates are not fantastic because I'm streaming, but when I'm playing, I get 30 to 40. But I just, I really like the way that this looks. It doesn't really change much. It doesn't turn anything, everything orange. It just sort of like, it adds a little bit of shadow to things. Block sides have got shadows and uh, I really like it. It it really makes a big difference. Like just, you know, being in the shade of a tree. It's such a such a cool shader pack and it's really light. Uh, Enhanced Default by Silders. I, I think you guys should check it out. Um, but I should probably turn this off because otherwise my frame rate is just going to be complete crap. The problem I find with most shaders is that some look good in the nether and some look good in the overworld, but I've not found one that looks good in both. Yeah, uh, the problem with the Max, it's not so much the power, it's just, it's just the graphics card. The system can really handle it, but see, like what? That, I feel spoiled, right? I mean, doesn't, I mean, this looks good, but it's not, not Silders. Like the, the enhanced shaders just kind of give a little push you know, to Minecraft, which, which I really like. Um, but I think I'm actually, I think I have to go. I think that's probably long enough for a stream today. I have some other things I have to take care of and it's almost dinner time. Uh, so I think, um, maybe next time we'll work on, on that sugarcane farm. That might be something I do next time, or maybe some landscaping. Cause we, we've got this thing finished. Uh, I'm quite happy with this, but we need to maybe do a little bit more landscaping on the south end of the river, maybe smooth out the river bank a little bit and uh, and make it look like you want to go this way. Uh, we also have to remove our scaffolding and stuff, but I, that's boring. I don't want to do that on stream. Um, everything else, uh, apart, as far as the building goes, is concerned, but we do have some landscaping and stuff to do, and that's always fun to do on stream. I've, I've enjoyed that when I've done that before. Uh, but let's just take to the skies here. Oh, server, please. Thank you. Magpie, thanks for the follow. Good to have you here. Right. So let's just I think following this way. Yeah, so there's there's Cosmic Dancer's place there. There's been a lot of changes. I can understand why Alistair was was kind of beside himself. Ooh, lots of cows. Hey! Let's chase him. Oh. Dog fight. Oh, I suck at this, obviously. Oh, <laughs> I think I tagged him. <laughs> I don't know if I tagged him or if I hit the tree. I don't really know. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, there's enough nonsense. Um, thanks for hanging out, folks. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, then uh, check out the Spawn Chunks. We record a new episode tomorrow. Uh, that's Monday. It's going to be episode 17. I have no idea what we're talking about other than the fact that it's going to be Minecraft and that was an excellent crash by Alistair. Uh, you can check out everything else that I'm doing on Joel Duggan on YouTube. I post uh, replays of streams. So if you've missed past streams, you can always check them out there. And that's it. 